Welcome to 304 Customs Garage. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at the S10's wiring. This is all factory. I have started to clip a little bit of it off. Figured we'll go ahead and get this started so we can get that small block Chevy in here. It is going to be a carbureted small block Chevy. So in this episode, I'm going to show you which wires I'm going to clip, which ones I'll save, and what else I'm going to remove. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> All right, so we'll get started on this now. The wire in here is all factory. It was a 4.3 V6 in this truck when I purchased it. Um, started clipping off some wires there. You may be able to see it there in the middle. I did start cutting some of them. The wires I cut went to the fuse box over there and also route into the computer, which is over here. And we're going to show you which ones to use and which ones you don't need if you're going to be running a carbureted HEI distributor uh, small block Chevy like I am in this truck. So hopefully this will help people speed up their research on what wires they need, which they don't. Um, spent a good bit of time reading about stuff like this the past week. And I just stopped, so I figured I'd make a video to help people out or maybe show you what not to do if I cut something that's wrong. Someone please let me know in the comments. If it's helpful, please let me know as well. So, let me grab these wire snips over here, and we'll go ahead and start cutting these. But first, I'm going to show you which wires you need, and then the rest of them, I'll cut those off. I don't want to make the video extra long. It doesn't need to be super long. Uh, let's see here. First up, we got a larger gauge purple wire. Now for my research, this purple wire here, which someone has modified and put a different longer end on it, will go to your starter. This is in the little fuses over there by the uh, brake booster. And after that, you also only need, if you look, it's like a pinkish red wire and on this truck it's actually connected already get it untangled so i can show you what the end of it looks like it'll look like this this will go to your alternator and as you see it's also here to the little output stud let me raise you up here so you can see what i'm talking about it's connected here and it also runs over there into that wire mess. So from my understanding, these are the only wires you need. There is a third one here that I'll show you. This here is a brown wire and it's a pink and brown. This was the factory alternator plug for the light uh, in the dash, I believe. I will be clipping this off, but at a later time, I'm not sure I'm going to use the battery light. I'm going to run mechanical gauges in this truck. So a lot of these wires I'm not going to need. So I'm going to grab a pair of snips and I'll be right back. Let's cut. So we'll start. Oh, I'll just grab a few wires. This is, goes to some kind of sensor. I don't remember what it went to exactly. See, a bunch of wires down here. I don't need any of this. So uh, we'll just get in here and start snipping away. Easy as that. Don't need that. So we'll go ahead and start cutting. Just can watch. Leave me a comment. Got all my wires here. Put some tape on these later. Set those aside for now. And I'll go ahead and start cutting these off and then we'll take a look under the dash and get the computer all ready to go.
All right, as you see, we got the pink reddish wires, purple starter wires, pink and redder for the alternator, brown wire, the pink wire with the brown stripe on it for the battery light and the dash from the alternator plug. I can't remember what this goes to, but I'm not going to clip it off the rest of the way yet. I may just pull it through. I'm going to replace this little loom anyway, clean it up after we get the firewall painted so we'll move over to the other side here and we'll be back and i'll show you what i'm going to do there to get the rest of that long wiring out and save some of it in case i need to use it later on down the road all right so work on the rest of the wires here the side closest to the driver's side fender um, most of the wiring looks like it goes to the lights and horn. Um, as you see, there is this wire also. I believe this went to like the windshield wires for pump, which I will keep. It's also right in here, so you want to make sure you don't clip that off by accident. Over here is probably where you need to be a little more careful cutting the wires just because of where it goes. Yeah, like I said, I, you can cut them off. You can always fix it. I wouldn't stress over it. Cut it off. Like I said, I cut this off. But this only goes to the washer pump. So it's nothing to get excited about. If you cut it off, go ahead and pull that out and separate it. And get in there. So to me, this looks like it's some kind of contraption they rigged up here. But, because I'm going to keep this, I'm going to make sure I don't cut that pink wire off. So I'm going to pull it over here to the side. Also looks like there's a ground on this. Pull that over here. Keep that. It also goes, if you follow the wire... It goes into this relay here. And then I actually have the pump motor arm here that controls the arms, wiper arms. It goes into this plug here. It's a gray, purple, orange, and a white wire. You also do not want to cut those if you want to keep this. And they all go down into there. So from the looks of it, everything in this needs to stay as well. I'll just go ahead and pull that through. Pull the orange wire through. So also keeping a mental note of what wires not to cut here. So we're not going to cut orange. black wire. We're not going to cut this purple wire. Probably should have labeled some of these, but I, it was really hot the day that I pulled the motor in this truck, so I just wanted to get it out of there, get out from underneath the truck and deal with all that. So, this is heavier gauge pink wire. I don't remember what it's for. I'm going to set it aside for now. I'm not going to trim that either yet. And relays. This gray wire goes over to that distribution block on the firewall. We're not going to trim that either. And then you have your heavier purple, the red, these here. You definitely don't want to cut those off. So we'll leave those. Gray we're going to save. 
this ground wire. And then the only thing left here is just a few wires. So I can go ahead and cut these off. I'm going to cut them a little bit longer. I'll go, go ahead and cut them. It's going to take me a little bit to get this sorted out. Cut them off. I'll show you what I'm going to do to save them in case I need to use them later. All right, after sorting through them, getting them out of the way, you're left with a small purple, a pink and blue or purple in this green wire. I already cut the ends off of it, so I probably went to some kind of sensor. So what I'm going to do is go down here a little ways and snip them off. Get those out of the way. Let's see. I want some kind of sensor we don't need. So, I left them short there. I am going to wrap a little bit of heat shrink around them and maybe some electrical tape. And I'm going to stuff them back down inside this plastic piece that I took off of there. Just so they won't be in the way. You won't see them. Perfectly good. And I'll find some kind of loom to put these rest of them in. I'll sort through these later. But that basically sums up everything you need to snip off here. Like I said you don't need many wires, three or four wires. So we'll go ahead and get these wrapped up and out of the way, and then we'll move into the cab and take a look under the dash. So before jumping into the cab, I wanted to show you something else that I'm going to save for this truck. And that is this wire that runs... From that plug there in the middle, about where your distributor will set, um, as you see it connects to that distribution block and it has this heavier gauge wire on it as well. Follow the wire. I don't remember what these were for, but I'm not going to cut them off yet either because I didn't label it. <laughs> uh, making myself do more work. But this here went to, you probably can't read that on camera, but that I wrote AC heat box on this and taped it up and shoved it up into here. I want to save that. I am going to run heat in this truck. I've already got a heater box. We'll put that on in a later video after we get the firewall painted up. And then also, as you see down here, this here, I believe, went to the antenna. So definitely don't snip that off if you want to keep the radio in here. Like I said, it's going to be a street truck. It's not really going to be a full-blown drag truck. If it was, you could probably get rid of a lot more than I'm getting rid of. Save you some weight and mess. But, all right, dang it there. So we'll go and move on inside the cab. And then we will try to get that plug out and the little computer under the dash. All right, so we loosened the little bolt. I use a 9 30 seconds socket, a uh, quarter inch drive. And you probably could use a flathead screwdriver as well to get it out. It wasn't tight or anything. So here's your computer box. From my understanding, you don't need any of this. But I'm not going to throw it away. I'm not going to throw the screw away either. It's going right back in. I said I'm not, I decided I'm not going to put a roll cage in this this year. Just so I can get it on the road. That's more downtime, extra cost. So I'm just going to unplug all this. Like I said, I'm not going to throw this away because I'm not sure where these wires go. So we're not going to throw those away, and I'm probably just going to end up putting this back up in here for now. Like I said, I'm not going to do a cage yet. Don't think I'll need it now. I probably wouldn't get to drive the truck a whole bunch, but hopefully we will. And the only thing left to do, really, is unplug some more of this and figure out how to get the wires from the other side of the firewall through here. Said, I believe you won't need this one either. Because I've already clipped all this off. Since I don't know where this one goes. Something I'll have to look into. I believe this is off for like fuel management and stuff like that. But we'll make sure before we go cutting anything under here. So the only thing left to do is I'll figure this out. And like I said, this is your antenna wire if you guys can see this. And then... 
certain way to wiggle that out of there. If anyone knows, let me know. I'm sure after this video post, I'll still be working on this wiring. All right, so we got that out. It wasn't as bad as I made it sound. I just yanked on a little bit and I popped the little plastic cover off. Here is that, and you see there's the ends that went into that computer box. So apparently we don't need anything from this for wiring. I will save that for now, just in case. Like I said, I clipped it off. It's good length in case I need to use it in the future, which I doubt, but you never know. Quick recap of what we did. Well, first, let me show you under here. Kept the computer box, of course. And then you had that little plastic thing. I just twisted that and it finally came off. Uh, this clip here, I'm not sure where that goes, so I won't clip that off. This was wired into some of the other things, so I'm guessing that has to do with some kind of management system from the computer. This here was just like a little light hanging. There's no bulb in it. And here, right there, that big hole, that's where that wire harness came out. That's for your antenna. So I'm going to keep all this stuff. I'm not going to throw any of it away. The wires we did save. To go back over this real quick. Antenna. Heat and AC. I'm going to have to modify this for the heat only box that I plan to use. Runs over to the distribution. Not sure what those two were for. I'll have to look that up again. And then we'll go back over here. I like it already. It's cleaning it up. We have red and pink. I'll have to put some tape on that, I guess. Maybe some heat shrink. Connection like this for your alternator. Starter wire, purple. Heavier gauge. Battery light in the dash. Goes to the alternator as well. Might clip this off. I don't know if I'm going to use it. I'm going to use mechanical gauges, so I shouldn't need this. But it's a brown wire and like a pink brown or brown and bluish gray brown color. Over to the box. Wiper arm motor. Trace the wires. Don't clip them off. I think we clipped three or four off in there. May clip some more. Also kept this black wire. Looks like maybe it's some kind of ground wire. So I didn't clip that off either. And then we have another black wire that went to this relay, which I'll need to... Do some research and find out what that goes to. If anyone knows, please let me know in the comments. So I kept that as well. And then a lot of this other stuff here on this side, I didn't mess with. Goes to the lights and horn. It does go to this box, which I believe is your ABS. Goes into this brake system here as well. And that should be about it you need to get this thing started. If you're putting a carb small block Chevy in here without all the sensors and running mechanical gauges with an HEI distributor as I plan to. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. I do recommend watching other videos and I may have missed something or left something out. I'm sure someone else has done a video about this and it may be able to help you as well. I know I watched a video earlier. It wasn't exactly the same, but at least got me started. Did a lot of reading. It's not as scary as you think. I was terrified. I hate doing electrical stuff in vehicles. I always feel like there's something that goes wrong, but I feel pretty confident that I have out what I need and what I need I kept. So hopefully in the next video we'll get this uh, firewall painted up. I'll take some of this more stuff off and I'll get the wiring cleaned up and away from it. Get some stuff masked off and we'll start spraying some paint on this firewall and get that small block in here. Looks so empty, but hopefully we can get it in there. In the meantime, Till the next video check out one of these other videos and we'll put it up here for you and if you would please go and like to subscribe the channel a any feedback is always appreciated and i'll see you in the next episode thanks for watching